Hey, kia ora. Good morning. Welcome to a super fantastic sparkling serenity Sunday. How is your day? Off to a fantastic start. We got to sleep in a little bit this morning. We woke up at 5.30 instead of before 5. So we had about a 30, 40 minute for our walk for this morning. Um, we've just been kind of like lazing around, laying in bed, reading for a bit. Um, we're going to go for, after our walk. We're going to go for a drive. something for breakfast <laughs> just sort of felt I just sort of thought you know picking up something for breakfast this morning I don't feel like my usual breakfast so um, I don't know what we will get it'll probably be a drive-through because I'll have Zephy with me and I don't think there's many restaurants open with patios that allow dogs for a brunch on a Sunday morning I've got to investigate that one so for today we're just gonna go through a drive-through and pick up something there and and um, probably go find somewhere quiet to park and eat and I don't know and then we might go for a drive or we might come back I have this real burning genealogy question in my head it is drive it's a it's a family tree I'm working on and it is driving me crazy I've been going all I was looking at it this morning and I was like you know I don't think that person is the right person yes their name is correct. Yes, the dates are, are correct as far as we know, but I don't think they are the right person. So now I have to go back and see who else was born around that time, look for references to the children later on, because um, it's, it's a there were several people that died around that time with that similar name and I'm just like I don't think I have the right person and I thought the one I need the one I need to find is I need to find the marriage certificate or the marriage record of him and the wife so I make sure I've got the right person that way and um, so yeah it's it's been bugging me I woke up and it was bugging me it's probably why I woke up at 5 30 um, because it was bugging me and um, when I was looking at it earlier which is why I didn't get breakfast before we're going for our walk, and that's why we're taking our walk so late. <laughs> it's just like this is really I may be digging in and solving that problem, but first, um, immediately after this, we're going to go for a walk. We are then going to go for a drive and get some breakfast, and then we'll either go for a longer drive or we'll come back here, and I'm going to get rid of this burning question. It is but it's okay because... You're probably going, but hang on, Helen, it's Serenity Sunday. That is correct. And you like to relax and unplug on a Sunday. Absolutely. But I also have a huge passion for genealogy. And when I get these burning questions, they're not something I can put off. I can't relax until I find the answer. And that is part of the process of when I'm researching genealogy, when I get that bug, I get that, that, that drive, that... I've got to find the answer to that question. That for me is relaxation because it's something completely different to what I do during the week. Um, but but believe me, when I get that, when I find the answer to the question, it is going to be woohoo, happy dance time. Yes. But today is all about relaxation. Energy is relaxation. Yes, I want to get away from the computer for a bit. I was basically off the computer a lot yesterday. Um, and since tomorrow is Memorial Day, I don't have to work tomorrow, so I have another day that I can relax um, but today specifically this burn because I took time off yesterday and had a very relaxing day yesterday I'm like pumped up this morning I've got this to solve and for those of you who have that passion of genealogy you know what that it's like um, think of um, in, in, a, in a job in a situation when you get a problem and you get so fixated on it your vision starts to narrow down and you the answer you take that break away from it and then you come back with a friend and all of a sudden when you take that break away the answer comes to you in a different way and that's what's happened with this thing because it's, it's been playing in my head over the last couple of weeks and I haven't really done anything about it and then um, I took a complete break yesterday off the computer did not do a gene any genealogy yesterday and um, this morning I woke up and said, like, there's something bugging me about that guy, about that particular person. There is something bugging me about him, about um, where he died, who he was, and all of that. 
And so I did some quick research this morning to find out there were a lot of people of the same name that died around the same time. And it's like, oh, really, really bugging me. So I'm going to, and that's, that's become clearer to me about what the problem is. It is this one person in that tree that is causing me an issue. And the key to that person is his wife. I know that in my gut, and that's what I figured out having taken that full day of break. So when you take a you start focusing on other things like relaxation, reading, going for a drive or whatever, solutions will come to you easier because you're now not faced with that problem. You're now relaxing the brain, getting it to focus on something else, but the subconscious is working away in the background there. <laughs> so today is going to be a problem solving day. It is going to be awesome because I love doing that sort of thing. It's meant to be a hundred and I think it is. So it's the perfect day to be inside, staying cool, staying out, um, and a good day to, and, and staying hydrated. Um, I've already had almost one of these today. Um, so it's a good day for to kick back, relax, do whatever it is that you need to relax, to take your mind off whatever business problems you have, whatever um, other problems you have, you know, the, the answer is take a break. If you just do something completely different to what you have, to, um, to what the problem is. So if you're a scientist and you're trying to figure out that, that missing piece in that formula, take a complete break away from all of that and go do something completely different. Like go fishing, go for a run, go mountain climbing, whatever. Whatever it is that you do to relax, go do that today. I'd love to go fishing, but I have a, oh, sorry, I'm going to get a rod. I don't have a, but I am going to eventually get a rod and I'm going to have no hooks on it because I love the act of fishing, you know, just sitting there with the line in the water and just being in the moment. The bit I don't like about fishing is that when I get a fish on the hook, I have to deal with the fish and I'm not good with that. <laughs> way 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 out in the um when you were talking about comfort zones yesterday i'm not in my comfort zone anyway over there i need if i'm going fishing to actually fish um then i need somebody who will um take the fish off the hook um scale it dress it debone it and then i'll cook it i have no problem cooking it so between catching and cooking i will deal with it um, and somebody else needs to deal with it. So that's why I'm going to get me a fishing rod, and I'm not going to get me any hooks. I'll have the weights, so I look like I am fishing, and just so I can have the the act of just being, just sitting quietly in the tranquility of the moment, the line in the water, listening to the or the waves if it's on a jetty and just listen to the to the sounds that are around you yeah I need to get me a fishing rod and some sinkers yeah I don't need the hooks <laughs> if I happen to find a friend later on who likes to go fishing and the fish that I catch up until the time where it's got to be cooked then I will happily put a hook on my thing as long as whoever I'm fishing with promises that they will deal with the with the fish with the uh, removal of the hook of the deboning descaling filleting it then I will happily cook it I have no problem doing that so um you want to go fishing with me one day let me know let me know let me know some good fishing spots and I don't fly fish I have not learned to fly fish I just like to sit with the with the line in the water like I said I'm just going to put sinkers on I'm not putting the hook on I need to do that I haven't done that for a while Yes. Hmm. I wonder if that's in my tin. I think I'm going to have to put that on a piece of paper and stick it in my fun tin. But anyway, I'm out of here. Go have a super fantastic sparkling serenity Sunday. Unplug, relax, whatever it is you do to relax. If it's going for a country drive, a Sunday drive, go do it. Go get an ice cream in the next town over. Um, you know, go for a drive out of town. Get out of the city limits. Get out of your city limits, out of your town limits, and go for a drive to the next town, the next city. Um, wherever just go for a drive out in the amongst the farmland and that's always fun too it can get a little stinky at times but i've always loved that in new zealand because everything's like free range 
um, we can wind our windows down when we're out in the country and you get that fresh, 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 fresh air. Um, yeah. I haven't done that for a long time. I don't know. But it's going to be 100 and something degrees today, so we won't be winding down any windows. But anyway, go have a super fantastic sparkling serenity Sunday. Kick back, relax, enjoy the day, and we will catch you back here later today. I'm going to go take a dog for a walk, and then we're going to go get us some breakfast. So have a super fantastic sparkling day. Hey, Connor.